My name is Loic, L-O-I-C. I know you can't pronounce it. Um, but if you want to know everything about me, you just Google me um, and you'll find my website. I've been a blogger for five years. I'm on Twitter a lot and my own site, Sismic. So I won't spend too much time uh, on the bio, but and not, not even on my site, but just as a quick intro. Uh, this is my fifth company, uh, first one in Silicon Valley. When Burton called me, he said, uh, can you talk about how you got successful in Silicon Valley coming from France? That's all wrong. I'm not successful at all here. <laughs> I just want to make it very clear. It's a big challenge ahead of me to, uh, to make this a success. And I've moved here with my three boys a year ago. So uh, that was a big, uh, a big change. In terms of uh, background, really quick, and then I'd like more to share like, you know, what I learned and why I moved here and the differences. Um, I created a, um, a few companies, just to go quickly. First one, I had no money, uh, which I used to uh, start my first business. Very boring, a web agency. I hope nobody does this here. Uh, uh, in 96 in France, and we created websites, right? And uh, the cool thing, with the cool news is that there is a great business model. It's easy. You have customers. But it's very difficult to, set, to uh, scale. The more you hire people, the, the more you get business, the more you have to hire people. So it's not per se a great business, I thought. It's, of course, it's, easy to, it's e easier to do. I had a hosting business. And uh, just to go quickly to what I do now and then share little things with you, uh, I launched the, by mistake, which is something I really learned, is don't try too much to focus on the idea. The execution matters. The idea doesn't matter. Don't do any non-disclosure agreement. Share on blogs. Don't be scared that someone will steal your idea. Because uh, if you don't do it, there are at least 20 other people doing it right now. So go ahead and do it now, uh, rather than complaining if someone else does it. So what I did is, uh, by chance, I, did a, uh, I was complaining already by the fact that the, too much internet was happening here, not enough in Europe. So I'm coming to the topic slowly. And one of the uh, complaints I had was that all the cool events were here and not in Europe. So instead of complaining, I started my own, which called, was called Le Web. You can check it out, leweb.net. And I started with uh, about 100 people, like a room this size, but already coming from 15 countries. I was already like going uh, against many things in France, which was to do a conference entirely in English in Paris. And I was saying on my blog, if you're French, you don't speak English, don't even bother, it's not for you which started some controversy <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and helped the conference grow. And it doubled in size every year. And last uh, month, uh, in December, uh, theweb.net, we got uh, 2,000 people from 35 countries. Uh, and it became the number one event in Europe. It has a business model. It's break-even. It's bootstrap. Started with 10,000 bucks. Um, and the last one is Sismic. So this is much more risky. Uh, latest one, sorry, because it's not the last one, I hope. Uh, <laughs> This is my French, excuse me. But this is a, sorry, the screen is cut and so on. But anyway, this is a, uh, so some people call it video Twitter. This is a video conversation site where uh, you can share. And it's really Europe against the US already because you can see people, right? So I have 5,000 friends on Facebook, but I don't know any almost. Whereas here, I can see you. So there are very few people using that, 50,000, about a million uniques. We launched and we're relaunching this new site this week. But uh, at least I know you if you show up here because it's only video and reply. But I'm not here to do a seismic pitch. I'll ask, uh, answer your questions if you want to do this. Oh, just Estonia I love and Skype because we raised $12 million from uh, Skype founders, Niklas and Srumin Janis Fries. And uh, from uh, just one quick story on this one, um, six months ago, uh, uh, I was doing a demo at the demo conference, actually. And um, I, I was watching the timeline, and I, I see some, someone show up who was Pierre Romidiard, the founder of eBay, just randomly, like if I would be talking to you right now. I was like, wow, that is Pierre Romidiard. And I replied to him. I said, hi, Pierre. You know, great that you're on Sismic. He, he started to love it, posted like 50 videos. And finally, he said, Could, can I invest? Uh, and so he came completely by the site. And uh, that's a good story of, you know, like, throw your, your, your baby in the water so that it can learn you know, uh, to swim as fast as possible. Because <laughs> you, may find, <laughs> you, may find, you may find people interested very soon. If I had not had some people to say the first version of Sismic wasn't good and so on, but it, it helped me gather a round of investors because I was just doing it. Now, things I want to uh, share with you. Um, and uh, we got a few other investors. But yeah, I love Europe. Now, 
um, because most of my investors are European, actually. Now, um, why I came here? It's a catastrophe. I mean, Europe is really, and I'm sorry I'm speaking in front of two government representatives, um, I have been helping the uh, French President Sarkozy campaign on the internet. I was kind of in charge of social, social media or helping. Nobody's in charge in a presidential campaign and, <laughs> of anything. But um, I was really trying to, you know, help on, on that. And honestly, let's look at it, it's, it's a catastrophe. There, none of the world leaders of the internet, I'm talking about the internet here, right, not nothing outside, right? I don't know about luxury goods which do very well in Europe. But the internet, uh, there are no world leaders. So you're very proud of Skype, uh, but Skype is American, it's eBay. You're very proud of Calcu in France, which was a, a, a buying engine. It was acquired by Yahoo. So it's American, now they sold it back, but it became American. We were very proud of lastminute.com, number one travel site by my friend uh, Brent Oberman in the UK. It was acquired by Saber, became American. And I could go on and on and on like this. So you think these are European successes? Generally, they're not world successes like Google is. All the major key uh, domains of the internet are dominated by mostly Silicon Valley, if not US companies. And that's very, very sad. Why? Um, because there is a, uh, um, a culture, a spirit there, which is not too global first. Like here, what I feel is when you wake up uh, in the morning, people want to bite the world, even though they focus a lot on the US first. They really want to do a, 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 a world leader. Whereas in France, that's how I started, I wanted to be the leader of Paris. And it kind of worked in my little domain. And then, you know, and then you think, oh, but maybe I should address France and maybe Europe. And then you hit something which is just in Europe, not talking about Russian, um, 22 languages. So don't like, you know, that's the thing we bring compared to uh, Americans, I guess, is we understand that Europe is not one. I mean, what, what do we have in common with somebody from Estonia and a Portuguese and Italian and a British and French and a German and there are, there are many things in common but you know very different as well. So this is not one market. How much time do I have? I'm done? Two minutes? Okay. Well I need half an hour. <laughs> no, so I'll, I'll concentrate on the cliches then for you. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but that's for sure the culture is not, uh, uh, is not one. It's, it's not, yeah, except one currency barely, right? Uh, we, we are not one, uh, one culture, I think. It's, uh, we don't have that culture of showcasing heroes. Here, Sergey Brin, who is on the Google bar there, or Larry Page, or Bill Gates, to some extent, less in Silicon Valley maybe, are heroes. People want to be the same. People want to succeed. People want to be world leaders. Whereas in Europe, if you succeed, you, think, you, know, you have to hide a little bit. You know? Otherwise, <laughs> you know, it's, probably that you have done some, but you, you don't have this star spirit, this cultural like showcasing, you know, I think the governments listening here should showcase the entrepreneurs as heroes because they go against the tax system, they go against the bureaucracy, they go against, you know, a lot of, you know, of course risk uh, and, and it's very, very uh, uh, difficult and we're not showcasing them enough. For example, my favorite example these days is a company called Vente Privé. Who's heard of Vente Privé? Okay, maybe you follow me on my blog. No, uh, but so see like five people. And Vente Privé is a company that does 500 million euros in revenues. And it's like, that's a lot of dollars. And, um, <laughs> and if you're in the center of Silicon Valley, you've probably, you're reading TechCrunch and TechMeme. This company a month ago, because I, before I showcased them at the web, was not even in Crunchbase. TechCrunch has never covered it. So I, I would, like my colleague here, I would definitely confirm that if you're only reading the Silicon Valley blogs, you miss a lot. <laughs> but it's very influential, it's very fast, it helps you go very fast, that's why I moved here. But there is a world out there, and they're, they're facing challenges which is to become a, a world leader from a French leader is very, very difficult. But my point is we have leaders that are mostly national. Very difficult to get them outside because they focus on their uh, market. And I'm almost done, um, but just to name the challenges and then a little, uh, few positives. Um, the, uh, of course, uh, the copycat culture, if you're from Europe and going back there after your studies, don't do copycats. I think this is what's killing Europe compared to here. When 
people start a business here, they try to do something different because it's like there's no point. Someone has already done that most of the time. Whereas in Europe, I don't know why people want to do copycats. They want to copy something that's successful because it's easier to do. And that's killing innovation in Europe a lot because then they, they think, oh, I'm do, going to do a copycat and just sell it to the Americans. And that's really, but that, I mean, I'm just trying to put things right. And that's, that's, uh, that's too bad. Now, uh, I, I'm running out of time, so we'll, we'll do it through the, uh, through the panel. There are many other challenges, but there are also many positives. Uh, uh, of course, um, being there, the euro is stronger. When you have a market like Mythic, the number one dating site in Europe, is really giving a hard time to match.com because they, I'm a board member of them, because they, uh, they are so established in 20 plus countries that it's very difficult for an American company to come uh, after that. So, so there, are, there are lots of uh, positives. Same with Facebook or MySpace are challenged in some countries because 20 in Spain is very, very strong, for example. And uh, yeah, just to finish with feeling here as a French or European, last point, is um, I think we tend to think, I love it here. And I'm asking my green card. I have a five years visa. There is no reason for me to ask a green card, but I'll, I'm asking it because I like it. And uh, the will stay basically for a long time. But the uh, uh, I think what we are a little different in uh, something that made kind of headlines of a little blogosphere bubble uh, a few weeks ago uh, in a fight between Michael Arrington and myself over two-hour lunch, which was my claim that we need to take time to know each other, get better relationship. Whereas the Americans tend, uh, in my eyes, to be very artificial. Like, hi, how are you? Oh, awesome. Oh, fantastic. You know, see you. <laughs> you know, I, honestly, I'd rather, like, if it's important, if we want to know each other, I'd rather spend two hours with you. And I think that is really the European style. So, thank you. Thank you.